Pittsburgh had approved an $84.4 million budget after a two-hour meeting on Wednesday, with Township Administrator Chris Piedes providing some highlights on the voluminous document. We think it's important to highlight some of the services that are really additions since last year, one being the new library annex downtown, um, again, the ability to keep the police force between 115 and 125, <coughs> we've done that another year. Uh, we, we've really made an effort to deal with this pothole problem by buying a new piece of equipment. Uh, we've already dealt with in excess of 700 potholes, uh, 225 of which came in through that hotline. So, very effective. It's working. We have another 100 or 200 to do, but we're, we're well on our way to getting done with that. You can all identify with the cost of the winter storms this season, which totaled $905,000 compared to $473,000 last year, so it's almost double what it was last year. But we're dealing with all of that as part of the document that you're going to look at and vote on. Right? Um, at the same time, as we've talked about, the state aid, once again, for the fourth year in a row, is completely flat. Right? If you compare back to 2005, we were receiving 47% more in state aid. So that in itself is just really the biggest obstacle we face every year when we do the stock. Costs go up, everything goes up, state aid stays flat. As expected, the Board of Commissioners were met with a ton of criticism from North Bergen Concerned Citizens Group President Larry Weinstein over some of the financial decisions in the budget. Is that because your prosecutor was indicted and went to jail for money laundering and for drug activity? Is that why? We you have a prosecutor that received less money? We downsized the number of prosecutors and as a result of the state. Now, Commissioner Gargiulo's department, one individual pled guilty. Three others are under indictment. That is part of the budget. And I want to ask why, in the, in the pay line item, the 2013 planning board expenses, you have $31,000, and now you're estimating $90,000 for Mr. Gargiulo. That's an increase of $60,000. So now your department, your department, your employees, three of them were indicted, one pled guilty for doing political work, and building their own home yeah, yeah. and buying supplies. Yeah. How are you going to protect the people of North Bergen from that not happening again? Yeah. And now you're increasing yeah. your budget yeah. just on one line item by $60,000. You're going to get a line item went from The people of North Bergen are afraid of all the corruption. Commissioner Gargiulo is the person in charge of that department. Yes, from Commissioner Gargiulo. How is he going to protect us? I still didn't get a response from Commissioner Gargiulo. How is he going to protect the people of North Bergen from corruption? I'm John Hytus, that's a Gowdy TV, North Bergen.